Hello everybody, this is Eric 1983 and welcome back to Final Fantasy X. Alright, let's keep going. Yeah, you got a friend sphere, nice. Alright, the last uh, somewhat new enemy, the uh, guy standing there, you definitely want to take him out ASAP. Alright, let's see if I can get uh, Horn to go. Alright. <laughs> I just wanted him to take him out before uh, he got his turn. I suppose I could just use Lulu, but oh well. Yeah, he, he uses the thrust kick uh, considerably more than his uh, weaker counterpart. Getting a little hurt there. Where is Yuna? Uh, Kira, yeah. Hey, got one. <laughs> Doesn't really matter, but we got one. Alright, I'll just have her finish him off. There we go. Alright, Waka and Lulu just reached the end of their parts of the sphere grid together. Yay! Alright, so Lulu first. I was kind of hoping I would have enough uh, level 4 key spheres. I've only got two of them. I need uh, th at least three of them. Um, and the reason why I wanted it was because, you go back to the very beginning, you'd see she's really close to Kamari's path, and I'm sure you probably saw at the very beginning of the game that you got the ultimate spell here, but you need four level th three level four key spheres to get to it. Unfortunately, I don't have it, so obviously that isn't an option for me right now. So I'm just gonna skip, uh, bypass that, and send her to the uh, part of the sphere grid where I intend to, which is Yuna's path. Uh, all right, where is it? Where's the beginning of Yuna's path? Mm, okay, so it's up there. Let's use the teleport sphere. Is that it? Yes, that's it. Alright, let's learn a couple of these. Hey, what's up here? Auto life, yes, that is the reason why I'm going back with Yuna when she gets to the end of her part of the sphere, when she gets uh, the other spell down there. Alright, now for Waka. I'm just going to send him down the same path that I'm taking him right now. I'm going to take out this level 3 lock and then send him down Orn's path. I will backtrack a bit to get, to get the armor break, but then I'll start moving up, uh, you know, the following behind Orn there. So that's what I plan to do. What the? I thought this place was about memories. Uh. Hey, Braska. You don't have to do this. Thank you for your concern. Fine, I said my piece. Well, I haven't. Lord Braska, let us go back. I don't want to see you... die. You knew this was to happen, my friend. Yes, but I... I cannot accept it. <laughs> Oren, I am honored that you care for me so. But I have come to kill grief itself. I will defeat sin and lift the veil of sorrow covering Spira. Please understand, Oren. Why is Oren in that? Isn't this place just the... Don't the Pyroflies just react to the memories of the dead? What does that mean? Well, first let's go down here. Alright. We got down here. A level 3 key sphere. Nice. Alright, I actually won a uh, level 3 key sphere from that battle, so yay! Uh, I don't need to do much more. Now I do have everybody's overdrives charged up, just to let you know. And we got a Lux Sphere, nice. The 
trials ahead? Probably. Here too, huh? Give me a break. I was expecting, you know, parades and fireworks. You can ask for them after I defeat Sin. Yes, we have to deal with the Cloister of Trials here, too. Alrighty, let's do this. Don't worry, this one isn't as bad as the uh, Bevel was. So, Alright, uh, hey, we got a little dot here, we gotta stand on this green light to start it up. We are playing... Tetris! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, all the pieces are very familiar in that regard, but... Uh, Alright, so basically the solution is shown on the wall there, you just gotta step on the light, correct lights uh, to uh, illuminate the right pieces. So, I'm gonna step on this one first. I do have a map for this, I found it on GameVax, so look it up if you're uh, interested. That one, and then this one, and then one more, this one. And that's it! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's a lot more to this than that, come on. It's the last Cloister of Trials of the game. And we do not need to do six more, we only need to do four more. <laughs> Alright, first, let's push one of these in. You gotta hit X to push it in, rather than just walk into it. It looks kinda... He looks kind of like the uh, symbol there. Cool. All right, let's go in here, and we got the big one. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this. What do we got to do here? All right, so let's step on this one, uh, this one, this one, uh, over here, this one, this one, and on the other side. If you step on the wrong one, it'll just... you'll just have to do over again, that's all. It should be it. Alright, there we go. First one down, three to go. Alright, let's grab this one. Oops, too far. Number two. Missing one. Uh oh, oh yeah, the yellow bar. <laughs> right here. So yeah, if you don't have a map, you can probably guess how annoying this would be. You know, just constantly trial by error, pretty much. But it's nowhere near as bad what the, as what the Bevel Temple was. Oh god, that was that, that was that was a nightmare. I'll admit it. Taking up an entire 13 minute episode. <laughs> Alright. This one's actually probably the easiest of the ones you get in here. I really wish it wouldn't drop you right there in front of that light. I need to go on it anyway. Alright, so let's step on this one. This one. one. <laughs> oh. 
That sucked. Alright, let's try that again. Let's do it this way. This one. That one. That one. This one. That one. Uh, this one. This one. This one. And to this one. There we go. Three down, one to go. And then we're back to the familiar routine of these things. And this one. The two, the two center ones on each side of the wall, uh, they don't move until you... Uh, well, you can't push them, I'll put it that way. Alright, let's get this one solved and finish this thing off. Alright, so it's this one. That one. That one. That one. Uh, this one. This one. And then, all right, which one is it? That one, so this one. There we go. Now, what do I do with the other two, you might ask? Well, you probably noticed the two spheres on the si on either side of this uh, screen here, so let's take one. Ah, I can't see, I can't see! What happened? I get my eyes closed. Alright, let's put that one in there. Number five is lit up. And take this Besaid Sphere. And put it in the other pedestal. I'm not sure if you have to do it in this order, but I'm just doing it anyway. <laughs> I'm sure you probably can swap the Poseidon and Kilika spheres there, but oh well. Maybe not. Cool. I see the light. Alright, well, what do we get for this? There's no destruction sphere, but there's a reason for that. So we'll have to, well, we'll have to take care of that next time. This is Herrick1983 signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.